equilibrium. As we've done before, we can now use this table to analyze the behavior of the market demand and supply curves. The demand curve shows how the quantity demanded changes if the price changes. If the price drops from 5 Rand to 3 Rand, quantity demanded jumps from 2,400 to 3,600. Our supply curve, also based on the information in the table, shows how the quantity supply changes if the price changes. This price drop from 5 to 3 Rand causes the quantity supply to fall from 3,600 to 2,400. Putting the two curves together, we get a picture of the state of the market. The demand curve reflects the behaviour of consumers and the supply curve the behaviour of suppliers. We can see that market equilibrium takes place at the point where the two curves intersect at the price of 4 Rand, where the quantity demanded matches the quantity supplied, 3,000 pieces of fried chicken. At this point, the plans of consumers exactly match the plans of suppliers. Note that in this market, there is only one possible equilibrium position, also known as the market clearing position, where everything that's produced is consumed, and both buyers and sellers are satisfied.